This episode contains ad content. Welcome back to DC Kids. Today we're talking about some graphic novels that feature our favorite DC characters. And I especially am very excited for this because I grew up reading the Detective Comics, Nightfall, the animated series after the show, Batman and Robin, Justice League, all that stuff. And that's how I learned to be such a big Batman fan. And I'm very excited. Yeah, and I love how comic books combine both artwork and storytelling skills to create stories that you can fall in love with forever. Yeah, and one really cool graphic novel that we have is the brand new DC Superhero Girls. I love this book. I think it's so funny how the DC Superhero Girls are so busy out fighting crime that they're late for all of their classes yeah. all the time and make their principals so mad that they end up having to join after school clubs in order to avoid suspension. Yeah, and the artwork is fantastic. It's amazing. In fact, I have a really good idea. I think we could go inside the books and check out the artwork for ourselves. I mean, that would be really cool. Good thing I have my oh. Zatanna magic so I can get us inside the book. Shall I do it? Yes, you shall. Sell Og Edison! Whoa! Oh, I love this part. It's when Zatanna changes their superhero outfits into their school outfits. Yeah, and I really love how you can determine what Zatanna's saying because her magic is backwards. So in this column, she's saying Opsirk Awegnark, which means presto changeo, backwards. Yeah, and I also love how her spells are in her colors with the pink and the purple and the blue. Yeah, it's a really awesome way of showing how her magic works. Yeah, for sure. Ready for the next panel? Let's go! <laughs> Whoa! I really laughed when I saw this page because I've never seen some of those clubs before. There's the basic ones like math, track and field, soccer, chess, and then there's some crazy ones like selfie club, merry mustaches, and waffle eaters? Yeah, I would definitely join waffle eaters. Like, I wish that was at my school. Which one would you join? Probably merry mustaches because I've always thought I would look really good with a mustache. Let's go to the next panel. All right, yeah. Whoa! <laughs> a lot's happening right here because oh, yeah. it looks like Supergirl's trapped by kryptonite. And you know, everyone's trying to help her and she's like really struggling because of her word font. Really yeah, word everyone's font. working together. It looks like Batgirl is trying to throw her batarang, Wonder Woman is trying to latch on and take off the lasers, is using her magic, Bumblebee is trying to break the lasers. Yeah, and it looks like there's a rubber ducky in the corner <laughs> that's like keeping Supergirl trapped. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I also really like Green Lantern's clippers. Yeah. One thing I love about this column though is that the DC superhero girls are working together, which is awesome. Yeah, for sure. Want to check out another graphic novel? Let's go! Whoa! We're in Batman Nightwalker. I love this graphic novel because it follows teenage Bruce Wayne solving a mystery on the supervillain Nightwalker and Arkham Asylum. Yeah, and the artwork is amazing. They oh, used yeah. Batman colors, so mostly black, white, gray, but they used yellow to highlight the big action moments. Yeah, and I love this because this just jumps right into a huge, massive car chase. Ready to check out another page? Let's go! Whoa! I think this column is so cool. So basically what's going on is Bruce is getting teased by his classmates and he remembers advice that he got from a previous character earlier in the book. Yeah, and I love how the top of Bruce's face matches up with the bottom character. It almost looks like one person. Mm -hmm. And also, they really emphasize how angry Bruce is by putting the yellow and black lines behind his head. Yeah, drawings can help you communicate a lot without having to use as many words. I agree. Let's go check out the next book. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, this is a new book, Black Canary Ignite. It has everything in it, from superheroes, fan practice, and even a secret supervillain that's stalking Dina Lance and her family. Yeah, this panel has so much happening, and it's showing two stories at the same time. It's showing Dina Lance getting rid of someone in her mom's shop, and then her mom checking to see what the disturbance is. I love when graphic novels play with storytelling like this, and you can really tell that there's something going on with her voice yeah. because of how they emphasize the word bubbles with purple and white. Yeah, and the squiggly lines around it too. And since we don't necessarily know the tone that the characters are talking in, this really helps get that across. I like it. Let's go to the next panel. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, this is the scene where Dina's gym teacher turns into a superhero and then does an impressive backflip and back handspring. Yeah, I like how he just casually unzips, puts the mask on, and is ready to fight crime. There's so much action happening on just this page alone. You can tell all the transitions and how fast this sequence is really supposed to be. You ready to go to the last book? Yep. 
Whoa! This is Super Sons. I love this one because it follows Superman and Batman's sons, Ian Wayne and John Kent, in their journey to fight crime. Yeah, and the colors in this column are so oh, pretty. Yeah. I mean, just look at the police lights. It looks like watercolors. And can we talk about how Ian Wayne is fighting crime with his dad, right. Batman? That's amazing. Oh man, I wish I was Ian Wayne. Just imagine having Batman as your dad. Right. If Batman was my dad, I would be able to drive in his Batmobile every single day, I would play with his gadgets, and I would be able to fight crime with him. If I was Batman's son, I'd just make sure I'd be the best son and sidekick I could be. Aww. Jet. Jet. Oh, yeah. Ready to go to the last page? Let's do it. Whoa. This panel is so pretty. It looks like we have the character Candace here, and she's either remembering something, maybe having a vision. Yeah, something about this is just really peaceful. It's either the colors or the clouds parting in the sky. Yeah, and the elephants on either side too, they're so cute. Also, the, the leaves on the ground, they're oh, pink yeah. and they're gorgeous. Oh, if you look in the background, you can see Ian Wayne and John Kent tucked in there. That's awesome, but we don't want to give too much away. So, are you ready to go back? Yes, I am. Og cap. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Huh. That was so cool. I love being able to go up close and see all the different art styles. Yeah, and there were so many really cool stories. If you guys want to check out any of these graphic novels, you can find them wherever books are sold. Well, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe. All right, we have some reading to do. See you next time. Bye. Bye. I'm excited to read this.